Friends, today we will see how to enter formulas using the mouse method. This method is intuitive, but it requires you to move your hand between the keyboard and the mouse several times. Here on the screen, there is a table in which there is invoice number, rate of the product, then quantity purchased, then the total, then sell tax calculated, then grand total, that is total plus sell tax, that will be the grand total and the sell tax rate. Friends, here the rate is given as rupees 550 and the quantity purchased is 1, 2, 4, 3 and 2. In the D column, you have to calculate the total cost. Here, the rate is 515 and the quantity purchased is 1 and therefore the total will be 515 multiplied by 1. <coughs> Here the quantity purchased is 2 and therefore the total will be 515 multiplied by 2. In the next case 515 multiplied by 4. In the next it will be 515 multiplied by 3. And in the last case it will be 515 multiplied by 2. It means rupees 515 is the common value. That is B3 is the common sale. So for calculating total, see how to enter the formula. First type equal because equal sign orders the Excel that we are entering a formula. Then click C3 and since we have to multiply the two sales type star and we are multiplying by the B3 sale value so click B3 sale. So is equal to C3 star B3. But B3 should be common for all the sales. Therefore just press F4 key. And you will see that the dollar sign is inserted before B and after B that indicates that B3 sale will be common for all the other sales. Now press enter and you will see that 515 multiplied by 1 is equal to 515 rupees. Now you have to copy down this formula to the other sales. So just take your cursor to this corner. You will see that the plus sign is changed. Now drag down till the last sale. And you will see that the formula is copied down to all the sales. But if you click on D4 sale, you will see that the B3 sale is common. Then if you click on this, you will again see that B3 sale is common. Now you have to calculate the sale tax. The sale tax rate is written in the G3 sale. It is 5.63% and for calculating this sell tax, the sell tax rate will be common that is G3 will be common. So as usual type equal sign, then click D3 because sell tax, 
cell tax of D3 is to be calculated. Then star sign because we have to multiply by the rate. Then click on G3 cell. And since G3 cell will be common to all the cells, press F4 key. And so that dollar sign will get inserted. Now press enter. And you will see that the cell tax is 28 rupees 0.84 paise. Now copy down this. Just bring the cursor to this corner. See the plus sign is changed. Now drag down till the last cell. And all the cell tax calculations are done. Here you will click on each cell and check that G3 column, sorry, G3 cell remain same. Now you have to calculate the grand total. Grand total will be the total cost plus sale tax that will be the grand total. It means we have to add D3 sale and E3 sale. So type equal to, then select D3 sale, then since we have to add plus sign, then click E3 cell and now here the reference cells will be different. There is no common relative cell and so there is no need to insert the dollar sign, just enter. <coughs> now copy down this as shown previously and you will get the grand total and here if you click on the sales you will see that here it is d4 plus e4 here it is d5 plus e5 here it is d6 plus e6 every time the relative sales are changed because the dollar sign is not inserted friends you have seen how to enter formulas using the mouse method Thank you very much for watching this. If you have liked, please share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you very much.